Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation from here we have 2 raised to power x plus 3 equals to 3 raised to power x plus 2. Now from here, when we follow the law of indices, that this one we have 3 raised to power 10 plus 10. This is the same thing as 3 raised to power n times 3 raised to power n. So when we use this here, this will give us 2 raised to power x times 2 raised to power 3, then equals to, similarly here we have 3 raised to power x times 3 raised to power 2. And uh, from here, let's separate the power of x to one side, that is, here now we divide both sides by 3 raised to power x. So we divide this side as well by 3 raised to power x. And let's separate the number to the other side as well. So that means we divide this side by 2 raised to power 3. And divide this side by 2 raised to power 3. And this power of 3 power of x cancel out. And 2 power of 3 cancel out here. So that what we have left here will become 2 to power x over 3 to power x, which is equal to 3 square over 2 raised to power 3. And uh, from here, when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, from the law of indices, this same thing as a over b or raised to power n. So we can apply that here, and this will be 2 over 3, all raised to power x, and uh, equals to here, yeah, 3 squared 3 times 3, and that's 9, and 2 raised to power 3, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And uh, in the next step from here, we can take the log on both sides. So we have log 2 over 3 raised to power x, equals to we have also here log 9 over 8 and uh, from the power law of log reading this power of x can come to the back here so we have x log 2 over 3 now then equals to here we have log 9 over 8 then in the next step you can remove this and divide both sides by log 2 over 3. Also divide this side by log 2 over 3. And from here, log 2 over 3 cancel each other here. And uh, we have x less here, which is equal to. Here we can rewrite this. That is from the law of log reading. So when we have log a over b we can separate this into two log and this will be log a minus log b so when we apply this here what we have up will become log 9 minus log 8 then divided by also here we become log 2 minus log 3 and same way we can simplify further and this will become x equals to log 3 square that's 9 then minus log 2 cube that's 8 then over here we have log 2 minus log 3 and also when we apply the power law here we can take 2 to the back here, 3 to the back here. So x now equals to 2 log 3 minus 3 log 2, then over log 3, over log 2 rather, minus log 3. Now this is what we have here, and uh, to put our answer in decimal, we can substitute the value of log 3 and log 2 here. Log 2 is approximately equals to 0 0.301 and log 3 also 
is approximately equals to 0 0.477. Then, when we substitute these values here, we have f now equals to 2 times log 3, which is 0 0.477, then minus 3 into bracket log 2, which is 0 0.301, then divided by log 2, that's 0 0.301, then minus log 3, 0 0.477. Then, when we multiply and uh, simplify from here, so we have x now equals to, this gives us 0 0.954 minus 0 0.903. Then, divide by here, when we subtract, we have minus 0 0.176. And then, also, the subtraction here gives us x equals to, 0 0.051 which is divided by minus 0 0.176 and here we have x to be approximately equals to 0 0.289 which we can also say is approximately equals to 0 0.3 to 1 decimal place so here we have the value of x and here, let's check if this satisfies the, the given problem. From what we have, which is 2 raised to the power x plus 3 equals to 3 raised to the power x plus 2. Now, for x equals to 0 0.3, so we have 2 raised to the power 0 0.3 plus 3, which is equals to 3 raised to the power 0 0.3 plus 2. And from here, sorry please, there's a mistake here. So I forgot this minus. So our answer contain minus this. So we have minus. So x to be minus approximately equals to minus 0 0.3. Sorry please. So we have minus 0 0.3 here. Minus 0 0.3 here. Then from here, this is 2 raised to power. Here we have 2.7, that's 3 minus 0 0.3, that's 2.7. Is this equals to 3 raised to the power 2 minus 0 0.7? Here we have 1.7. Then when we check from here, we have 6.498 here. And is this equals to, here we have 6.473. Now, to one decimal place here, this side is 6.5, and to one decimal place here, this side is also 6.5. So, left hand side equals to right hand side. Hence, here we conclude that the value of x a is approximately equals to minus 0 0.3. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe in order not to miss out and give a thumbs up your comments and see you in this class bye for now